Hey everybody, it's John from the Game Video here. Today is another special day as we are continuing our Pokemon Ruby Wedlock. And I don't know about you, but I thought last episode was powerful. So let's make this episode as powerful as the last one. We are going to have to do a couple things today, but I don't know how, how much really is done today. So anyway, let's do a quick team recap. Really nothing was different from the team, it's just that Joy almost died, and that was a very scary scenario. Um, so Joy has Supersonic Calm Mind Racer Wind Inside Beam. We have a Hypno with a Barrier, Psycho Boost, Heat Wave, and Mist Ball. We got, that's one pair, they're both straight. Then we got Baka the Pansexual, um, right, right on, right on, with Angel Power, Bone Club, Bone Rush, Earthquake. We got Papa Slagging with Swagger, Tackle, Heal Belt, and Thrash. And we got X Shelly the Execute with Trick, Needle Arm, Leech Seed, and Solar Beam. I think the levels were pretty consistent to where our last episode was. I didn't go, I didn't train anything because realistically, in my opinion, there was no reason to train. Um, we have Joy in the front because um, we need Joy to gain levels. Simple as that, like Joy just needs levels. And so anyway, we can get Joy levels in today's episode will be appreciated because we don't want joy to have another close call like last time oh there you are oh get pico for me get pico get my pico ah! no honestly no joy needs levels oh give me pico die uh arbok oh nice we like that we like that we like that let's go joy nailing that one I was like, Arbok? Okay, nothing to worry about. Like, it's a psychic type. Plus, it is something confusion. Like, all of the bars lined up. Good by Magma. Give you that X. You are no good. We got Pico right there. There, and we got the Devon Goods. Right, that, that event was actually a very crucial event, and I just sped right over it, but that's okay. But no, honestly, though, on I think that this team... What in the world? We are learning psychic. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! This the series has just go on gone off on the right start today. Okay, well, we're gonna get rid of Razor Wind because I don't like two turn moves. First off, I hate two turn moves. Second off, it's bad at the same time. So like a bad move plus being two turn, it's like automatically on my bad list. You're gonna give me a great ball, you're gonna do all this stuff. We're gonna skip over you because I don't care. Cause we just that basically we just have to deliver a letter and, and it's nothing too nothing too serious to be in my opinion nothing too serious. So yeah, now we can go down and actually do stuff. We don't have cut yet. Oh, it's May. Hi, May. We're gonna battle you. Oh, never mind. We're not gonna battle you because you don't let us battle. <laughs> Darn it, May. Dang it, May. We don't have cut yet, do we? Oh, Lily also doesn't exist on the team. Oh, Lily's got pickup, though. You know what? We're actually going to keep Lily. Only because it has pickup. And we might as well get pickup items. But that's awesome to know that Lily's got pickup. Um, because that'll definitely help. I don't really know how pickup works, per se. Oh crap, that was not what I meant to do. Down, up, cut you off. Take me, take me to Dooford. Okay, so now we're gonna get some encounters and actually, encounters will be a, not a bad thing. Okay, you gave me the old rod. So route 107. I'm a little, like I said, I'm a little nervous to see what we get, but it has to be a female. So that's... Oh, wait. Shoot, 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 shoot. I need to go to the Pokemon Center, actually. I need to deposit Lily, unfortunately. And Lily... I thought I deposited you already, but you're in box one because you are a straight Pokemon. You are straight, straight, straight. Okay, route 107, though. Bag. Okay, Old Rod. I would like to register that. Oh, well, that didn't matter. Not even a nibble. 
So now, fishing in this game is a little bit of a pain. Pokemon on the hook. Let's see. We gotta get a female, because that's what matches. Ooh, a Huntail. And it is a female. Huntail is like... I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like Huntail's not a bad Pokemon, though. Like, I'm not mad about that whatsoever, I should say. Like, in no way, shape, or form am I mad about a Huntail. Like, honestly, a water type is very good for us. And it's a good pairing with our grass type if it ends up being what we want it to be. So, um, I'm going to name it Bree. Bree the Huntail. Let's get some sister magic going. Come on, sister magic, sister magic, please. Please. Oh, wait. The nature's right there. It is a hasty nature. Ah! Oh, it's on the bottom of the straight natures. Dang it! <laughs> I thought we had it! But unfortunately... Un unfortunately, it's another Pokemon that we cannot utilize. And this is where... Having the lesbian not be paired... Is going to be a big issue. Because we're going we're gonna to have a bunch of females. And it's going to be like... It's not a bad thing. But in a wedlock... It, it is kind of a bad thing in a wedlock, to be fair. Like, in what we're doing, having a bunch of females, as much as their power, yeah, you, like, don't necessarily want to have a bunch of females. Okay, so do for town. Because you're going to have to pair them. So unless they're lesbian, then it'll work. But they're not. They're all straight, which... You got a bunch of straight females just kind of chilling. Not a bad thing, obviously. But. Oh, we got a bite. Pokemon on the hook. Okay, it has to be. Oh, it's a no, 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 no. Ah, oh, it's genderless. Genderless automatically is pansexual. Um. But. The unfortunate thing about that. Is that. It can only be paired with other pansexuals. Or. Yeah, it can only be pa pan. It can only be paired with other pansexuals. Like, a genderless Pokemon automatically are pansexual. And the way that they're paired is that. Um. Or at least the gender. Okay, let me explain. The genderless Pokemon. Ioka. I L L O K A. They can only be paired with the other pansexuals, the genderless ones. Now, of course, I know this is confusing considering we have a pansexual on the team, but um, Baka is pansexual but is a female, which means that it could be paired because, you know, male, his papa look is looking for females. So that requirement has been met, and then, it do and then Baka doesn't matter. Like, Baka can be paired with anybody. Because it's not genderless. So, unfortunately, because it is genderless, though, we're going to put that in box two. I mean, we're getting encounters, though, so we're going we're gonna to do good in that department. So, that's good. And then, Route 106, what are we going to get here? We got a bite. Pokemon on the hook. It is a... Are they Porygon? Ah, it's a male. Dang, Nabbit. I want... Vaporeon is a good mod. I, that's my favorite evolution, so... Maybe we can actually get that. That would be awesome. Vaporeon, this one is a male as well. Darn it! Come on! I want Vaporeon! But it is very likely that we're going to get a Vaporeon. Just, that's a good thing. Because it looks like that might be the... That's the common encounter. Which, like I said, I do not mind that at all if it's the common encounter. Oh, a bite? Okay. Come on. Come on, Vaporeon. Ah! Sorry, I'm not trying to be mad, but they're all male! And it's like, we can't have one. We can't have a male one. And we're going to run into the, the not common encounter at some point. And that's scary. Unless the not common character is good. Tauros! 
<clears throat> Isn't Tauros a guaranteed mail too? <laughs> Wait. So Tauros is the rare encounter. But what is Tauros's... I want to say that's guaranteed mail. Yeah, 100% mail. Which means that we're guaranteed Vaporeon. So, I mean, can't complain. I was like, I thought that had 100% mail rating. Which, yeah, can't, like I said, cannot complain. Because that does mean we're guaranteed Vaporeon. It's just whether or not... Oh, my goodness. Just, um, the mails are out here. Aw, oh, whoops. I wasn't paying attention. Give me a bite. Yes, okay. Toros, your guaranteed mail. Vaporeon. Is Vaporeon also... There's Vaporeon is not guaranteed mail. 100%. Vaporeon. There's no way it's guaranteed mail. Oh. Great. That's why I'm running into so many males. It's because the gender ratio is 87.5% male. But, like, only 12% female. Is that really the case with Eevees? Which means I'm going in this place and I have to find the rare... The rare Eevee. Is that really... Is Eevee really like that? I didn't know that. That's new. I didn't know they were mostly male. Yeah. Damn. I learned something new today, that the Eevee line is a pain in the ass when it comes to trying to find a female. Oh my gosh, why did... So, basically, we have one one that's 87.5% chance, and one that's 100% chance to be not catchable. Sheesh. There's the Tauros that we can't catch. I may, like cut out some of this because that this is a lot of searching for a Pokemon unless if I move over here it probably is not different at all yeah no it's not different at all dang it you know what so we were trying to encounter, I'm not forfeiting the encounter, obviously, but I'm going to go in here because this might be easier to find a female. There we go, Blissey. <laughs> I was like, this this could be very, much, very easy, much, much easier. Okay, Body Slam is actually going to hurt a little bit. But you know what, Supersonic's not going to hurt because, well, you're a Blissey and there we go. Netball works on bug and water. Okay. There we go. We got the Blissey. So we did get the female here. Please tell me. So we had a nickname, the Blissey. The Blissey is, um, Harriet. Harriet the Blissey. And Harriet, what are you? Oh, you got an item. I'm taking that. It's holding a TM. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay, summary. Docile. Docile is a pansexual nature. That does, in fact, mean Blissey is on the team. <laughs> Blissey is officially a team member. Pansexual, docile, finally. And that was in group, this group here? No. Wait. Oh, boy. Uh-oh.
There we go. Just casually lay out editing. There we go. And then... So, another Blissey. You know, Blissey, I don't actually mind as a Pokemon, to be fair, though. Like, Blissey is one of those Pokemon that I'm not going to complain about whatsoever. It's Gen 2, which means that it might be even better. Uh-oh. Why? Why? Uh-oh. It's yelling at me. Sorry guys, I'm yeah, this is gonna be cut out of the video, probably. There we go. Blissey's here. Yay. It's weird that it doesn't let me like drag them in. Very odd that it won't let me drag him in. But anyway, the Mon has been added to the team. It has a, actually a lot of HP, but yay! Oh, we didn't mean to fight him, but we did. Okay, that was a bad idea. Alright, I'm gonna go into Gen 2 and Heat Wave this thing. Get this thing dead. Poliwag is gonna get Psycho Boost. To, if we can hit Psycho Boost, it'll get Psycho Boost to death. I'm trying to learn Pin Missile. It's a bug type move, but it is physical. We're not a physical attacker. We're not going to learn it. Porygon is next. Uh, I'm going to Heat Wave. Might as well. There we go. Got that thing. Got that guy down. We're going to heal up, and then we are going to go out right on ahead and. Get our Pokemon in here, because we can now. Um, bag. I, it, it, to me, it doesn't really matter what we get. I'm going to be 100%. Oh, we got Blast Burn as a team. Dang. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter which one we get. Vaporeon would be my favorite of the two, but Tauros is not bad. I will I will live with a Tauros. And I would have to do more than living if I get a Tauros anyway. So, like, both the mods, I don't mind. I would like Vaporeon more. Yes! Like I said, would love Vaporeon more, which is what we got, which is awesome. Super Sonic Force is missing. Oh, that did a lot more damage than I thought it was. Crap, 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 crap! Um, we gotta go into... Dang it. I don't think I have any potions either, do I? Yeah, I totally don't have any potions. Crap. Um... I guess we go into Gen 2 and hope that Water Spot doesn't do as much damage as it did. Got a Heat Wave to get rid of the Water Spot damage. And we got what we needed in the burn too. Nice. Okay. So that'll slowly make Water Spot damage do less. Awesome. We got it. And I'm going to name this... Um, what do I name this? I'm gonna name it Fam Dude. Oh, I'll name it, yeah, Fam. Dude. Fam Dude the Vaporeon has now been sent to the PC. Oh boy. Whoopsie daisies. 
Soft boiled. Awesome. Psycho boost. Hopefully kills. Yeah. Oh, it didn't quite kill. That's fine. We live. We live. But today, we got most of our encounters. And as much as this has been a 20 minute episode, I'm totally going to go do the very quick one liner thing that we have to do. Because I feel like there's no reason not to. Because we're so close anyway. Oh, Zigzagoon's here too. Jeez. I'm really glad we got Blissey. Alright, what well, would have been on the bottom if I would have waited to get to the bottom of the cave? We will never know, apparently. <laughs> apparently, really apparently, we will never know. There we go. Oh! No way! But I wouldn't have been able to be paired, so I guess, realistically, I shouldn't be, like, too freaking out because we would never have been able, we wouldn't have been able to pair it, but that would have been an amazing mon. Ah! I don't know about you, but it hurts more when you can actually utilize the Pokemon. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Like, it would have actually been able to be utilized, and it's like, oh, no. Because I can all... But, again, I can't really switch the team around. Oh, my gosh. My champ's here, too. There was so many good things down here. Dang it. Why did I... Wait. I was going to say, that's an item. Iron... Well, I'll take $4,900. I like that. I like $4,900. Um, I don't know. I think everybody likes $4,900. <laughs> if you don't like $4,900, you're weird. Hi, Steven. You're going to give me a TM, too. We're going to find out what this TM is. It is Fissure! Okay. Now I really, really want the champ. <laughs> or something with no guard that can learn that. No guard fissure. Let's go. We got this. <laughs> no. Honestly, that would be so broken. It'd be really hilarious. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. And the next episode, we will be fighting Brawly already. And I'm like, ah, I can't believe we're fighting Brawly. But anyway, thank you guys so much. We love you all. And peace.